And hello everyone! From February 21st, the Russian Rhythmic Gymnastics Championship has been held in Moscow, one of the main starts for Russian gymnasts. Someone here acts as a favorite and straightens their place in the national team, while someone only catches your eye for the first time and is remembered for the national team coaches. Today in the video I'll talk about the results and what happened in Luzhniki what happened to Dina and why the gymnast was not able to go to the awarding ceremony. The first two days the gymnast fought for a place in the finals of the all-around, which was held on February 23rd. The strongest gymnasts of Russia performed here. Gymnasts from the main team were allowed to take part in the all-around immediately without the first two days of qualification. So we saw some gymnasts for the first time only today. But the day turned out to be very eventful and interesting for the results. And before starting the video, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and be sure to put your thumbs up, so this video appears in the recommendations for those who don't know yet about my channel. Well, and let's start with the results. Arina Averina won the gold medal of the Russian Championship, confirming her last year's title of absolute champion. An interesting fact was that according to the estimates, Arina did not get the best mark in any of the apparatuses, but in terms of the points, she overtook her sister and Lala Kramarenka, who each scored high scores in two apparatus. Lala Kramarenka won the silver medal of the Russian championship ahead of all the other gymnasts of the Russian team, which is already surprising because even at the Grand Prix Lala showed herself very well and in just two weeks time she is ahead of the leaders of the national team. And I remind you that this is the Olympic season. Before the Olympics a little less than six months remain and Averina's sisters takes turns injuring themselves. So the likelihood of Lala participating in the Olympic Games increases, despite of her young age. Tina Averina became the third in the individual all around. In the hoop exercise she made quite a few small mistakes, lost elements and finished her performance without the hoop. However, she pulled herself up in the apparatus, despite the mistake made in the ribbon as a whole. She had enough points to stay in the third place. Additionally, she had a big difference with the fourth place. But what happened happened after the performance is really scary. As I was told from the hall, after the last appearance, Dina was taken out by the teams of doctors, since she could not walk herself. Someone says that even in the ball, it was noticeable how bad she was and how hard Dina got up from the floor. Also, the award parade was delayed for almost 40 minutes, perhaps in the hope that Dina will attend it. But her back was so grabbed that she could not even get up. At the award ceremony, the podium step was empty. Irina Alexandrovna Wiener did not know about Dina's disease, judging by her interview. But knowing how the head coach of the team relates to such silence, someone would definitely get in trouble. Unless, of course, the injury happened right at the Russian Championship. In any case, we hope that this is not a serious injury and is quickly treatable. Right, what do you think about this trauma situation? They should have removed Dina before the competition and not allowed her to reach the moment when she cannot walk, or it's cool, on the contrary, when the gymnast shows such courage and stamina. Well, I'll keep you updated on Dina's health. Yekaterina Selizhnyova this year was again fourth in the Russian Championship, losing to younger teammates. Katy did not perform badly but made mistakes. Fifth in the individual all around became Anastasia Guzinkova, sixth Maria Pabedushkina, followed by Anastasia Simakova. By the way, she was also born in 2004. As you see, not only Lala Kramarenka is overcoming experienced gymnasts. The eighth place was taken by Daria Trubnikova, which at the start was a lot worse than at the Grand Prix stage. Daria Pridanikova took the ninth place and Daria Sergaeva, also born in 2004, closed the top 10. Here is such an interesting composition of the strong strongest gymnast in Russia. Write in the comments who do you think is worth to be on the list, but something went wrong for them at this tournament. Well, I'll answer the question that they wrote to me after the end of the competition and which I think is important to answer about the release of the ribbon outside and Lala's high score. It is impossible to exclude the option that they did not notice the exit from the side, but even if they noticed and put such an assessment, this can also be explained. Going out of the carpet only for an apparatus without loss and extra steps caused the gymnast only three tenths of their complexity, and it's simply not such a significant deduction. This happens by the way quite often that the gymnast makes a loss, but the score remains quite high. So a loss does not mean that the gymnast will be left without a medal. 
Also remember that international tournaments are most often judged more strictly than national or regional championships. So comparing scores from the Russian championship at the Grand Prix is also a rather controversial point. In addition to the individual all-around, gymnasts played medals in the team event. Here the first place was won by the Moscow team, the second place was taken by the team of St. Petersburg, and the third place was taken by the team of the Central Federal District. And on February 22nd, the competition in the group all-around ended. Here here the winner was a team from the city of Moscow, in second place was the team of St. Petersburg, and bronze medals were won by gymnasts of Nizhny Novgorod. On Monday, February 24th, gymnasts in the individual and group programs will play medals in the finals of certain apparatus. But not all gymnasts of the Russian national team will perform there, since next Saturday the next stage of the Grand Prix in Tartu will start, which I will definitely tell you about. And in order not to skip any important information, subscribe to my channel and follow my Instagram, as there I I also often post interesting stuff. Well, that's all for me. Remember that I love you all. And for now, goodbye.